this video I'm going to show you how to do homemade hand sanitizer instead of going out to the store and fight with everybody else right now. Uh, the ingredient is fairly simple, okay? What you need is isopropyl rubbing, or rubbing alcohol, 70% or higher. Uh, they do come in the 99% also. The one I have here is 70%, that should be sufficient. And here is a Trader Joe aloe vera, okay? I said 99% pure. If you guys don't know what the era of the aloe vera brand looked like, I can show you that in a little bit. Um, if you can't find this in the store, you can actually go out and cut the plant and do that as well too. You can actually cut it out, you know, chop the uh, plant and make aloe vera gels out of it too. So, okay, but since I have it, I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, this is a new design, um, new bottle of aloe vera gel, okay, so, but this is the older design, but they're practically the same. So let's do it, all right. Um, what you need now is, you know, a bowl or some measurement uh, so you that can measure it out. Here I have the pirate cup, so I'm going to put in uh, the recipe, it's fairly simple, it's two to one ratio. Um, to from alcohol to the aloe vera, okay? So let's put in the alcohol. I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna make one third of it. It's, I'm gonna do two thirds of, uh, uh, let me see here. I got two third cup of alcohol. Basically, you wanna make uh, about 60% um, ratio between alcohol uh, and aloe vera, so that way it kill. 99% of the germs, okay? I put that into the bowl, and I'm gonna dump my aloe vera in there. I got two thirds cups of uh, alcohol in there, and I'm gonna do one third of aloe vera gel. To see, this is what the gel looked like, okay? So. Let me see here. Yep, that's about one third. Okay, I'm gonna put the alcohol back in here because I got two thirds. So I can whisk it. The reason I'm doing that because I can use this, you know, they have the little spouse, I can put it in the bottle later. So now it's time to, I'm just gonna use a whisk and Let's get up. And if your alcohol concentration is a little bit stronger than that I have, um, you can actually use a little less uh, alcohol. Uh, but since I have 70% isopropyl alcohol, so I'm just going to do what exactly what the recipe is recommended by the CDC. Okay. Okay, and if you want the little scent, uh, you can use essential oil. Use I have the lavender flare scent, so I'm just gonna put a few drops in there, so it makes it look, you know, make it smell a little bit better than uh, just a regular alcohol. So I'm gonna drop it in there. Uh, that's about five, six drops. Um, good use. And we'll whisk it up. Still smell like alcohol, so I'm gonna put some more in there. Well, that's a lot. Just go for it. Depending on how strong you want to smell it, you know the essential oil in there doesn't do anything but just to give you a better scent. See? See? And then rub in there. And now my hands are all sanitized. Oh yeah, I smell it. Lavender. That's it, guy. See, now it looks like a uh, hand sanitizer. 
So I'm just going to pour it in a, uh, a pump like this, and that's uh, all set. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and please uh, subscribe to the channel for, channel for more video. Thank you. Bye-bye.